everyone, it's Helen here. Today I will be making bò nhúng yum, beef in vinegar hot pot. This is the perfect dish to serve during family gatherings because everyone can sit around the table with a mini hot pot in the middle. This is also one of the seven courses of the Vietnamese Beef Seven Ways bò by Imam. And I hope you enjoy. There's a lot of vegetables in this recipe and we're gonna slide them first. Peel and remove the eyes and the core of a pineapple. We will chop up one part finely to make the sauce and slide the rest into thin slices like this. Slide cucumber into long bars around 3 inch length. Two other kinds of fruits which are very typical for this dish are green banana and star fruit, chui chak and kei. But it's very difficult to find those fruits overseas, so I'm gonna use plantain and pineapple to replace. Also, cut them into thin long bars. Plantains can get browning very fast, so after slicing, soak them immediately into a bowl of cold water. Add in some salt and lemon juice in the water to reduce the browning. Cut an onion crosswise into thin slices around half a centimeter of thickness. Then separate them into rings. Add 3 stalks of lemongrass and tie each of them into a knot. Lemongrass will add a very nice fragrance to the soup base of our hot pot. Now come the most important ingredients, the beef. It's very important that you slide the beef against the grain and into very thin slices. Lucky I have a very good assistant today in the kitchen who can slide really fast. <laughs> you can put the beef into the freezer 45 minutes before cutting, then it's easier to cut into thin slices. After that, spread the beef slices on a plate and garnish with some onion rings on top. For the broth base, you will need around 2-3 to three cups of coconut juice. You can use fresh coconut juice or coconut juice in a can. I'm using two cans today, around 600 ml. Then add in about half a cup of vinegar. You can use rice vinegar or wine vinegar. Then add in a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of sugar. You might need to adjust to your taste with some chicken stock and more or less sugar depend on the sweetness of the coconut juice. Also add in the lemongrass, some onion rings, and a few slices of pineapple. Give it a good stir to let the salt and sugar well dissolved. That's it! We are done! <laughs> so the question now is, how are you supposed to serve this? So you have all the sliced vegetables and fresh herbs and lettuce on the plate, the sliced beef, the anchovies dip in fish sauce and the hot pot soup base. What you do is to dip the sliced raw beef into the hot pot soup base until it is cooked to your desired standard and then take out. All the acidity from the vinegar, the pineapple and the coconut juice will tenderize the beef giving it a sweet and sour flavor. The fragrance of the lemongrass and the onion will infuse the broth and also the beef which make it really fresh and delicious. We are not eating the beef alone, but we're gonna roll it in a piece of rice paper together with the vegetables. So I have soaked a piece of rice paper in warm water for 2 seconds and spread it on a plate. Then I'm gonna top up with pineapple, some fresh herbs like mint and perula, a few slices of cucumber and plantain, and of course the beef.
Then we're gonna roll it nicely into a fresh spring roll and dip it into the dipping fish sauce. If you're familiar with Vietnamese food, you know that we can roll anything with rice paper and fresh vegetables, from grilled fish, boiled pork, to Vietnamese crepes. So it's good to learn the rolling technique to help yourself on the dining table. Now let's give this a try. Mm, it's really fresh and appetizing. You can hear the crunchiness of the vegetables and the sweet and sour beef in the middle of the roll. Yummy, yummy. The anchovy fish sauce can be quite stinky for some people. If you can't take it, you can use normal dipping fish sauce. So I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. Bye bye.